G'day everyone, well thank you very much for tuning into the channel today. This is the Boss RV6, it is the most beautiful reverb in full stereo. I'd like to thank Josh at AMP Music very much uh, here in Toronto for lending me this pedal to have a play around with. Legend, Josh, as always. If you ever need anything, Josh is the guy. He makes me leads, he fixes my guitars, he replaces pickups. He does services, he does all kinds of really good stuff and I uh, really appreciate Josh down at the local music shop there, so uh, he's a bit of a gun. Anyway, this is the Boss RV6. This is a Gretsch baritone. Today, I'm going in full stereo into Helix Native. Just for something different, it's a Fender Twin I'm going into. So Helix Native is like the Line 6 HX Stomp or the HX FX or the HX Helix. I mean the Line 6 Helix, just, uh, it's just a software version of it in the computer. Just trying around with it, trying to simplify my workflow a little bit. So that's just a Fender Twin with a 212 cab. Dry as a dead dingo's donger. There's a few different moods to go through here. And I'm gonna leave all the switches up a fair way, just so you can really hear the reverb, see what's going on. Uh, the first one is the modulation. I'm going to be playing lots of short, sharp notes today so you can actually hear the reverb. Beautiful. I'm just going to go through all these. There's not much else I can do, really. The spring. Oh, you can hear it's got that little splashy slap back in it like a spring. That is an extremely convincing spring reverb. You can hear all the little bounces of the springs rattling. Boss just really know how to do a reverb, don't they? All right, this next setting is the plate. I love a good plate reverb. Lovely, lovely ambient reverb. The next one is a hall reverb. I also love a good hall reverb. Now, as you can see, I've got all these knobs up full and it's not overpowering. Um, it's really quite lovely. Yeah, it's really gorgeous reverb. Right, the next one is a room, a room reverb. I would never use a room reverb, but... You can hear it's got lots of reflections in it. Uh, room reverb you're just sort of supposed to just sort of use a little bit of. It's 
suppose to just use a little bit of room reverb just to sort of make it sound like an amp in a room sort of thing, you know? Jeez, I'm not playing very well today. But in terms of just adding a little bit of ambience, that's amazing. So the next reverb is the dynamic reverb. Sounds a little bit like a choir singing to me. I'm just going to turn everything right up here. Maybe back the tone off a little bit. It's an incredibly lush, incredibly ambient reverb. This next one is the Shimmer Reverb. Uh, Shimmer Reverbs are very popular at the moment. I find a lot of Shimmer Reverbs very spiky. Uh, I'm going to let this take the time of this one. To keep the time up, I'm going to turn the EQ sort of right down the tone and the mix but down a little bit. I use Shimmer Reverb to just sort of get a little bit of pad going under. Now you can hear extra notes coming in as I turn the tone up. Back it back down a little bit. You can hear how it almost makes a synthesizer pad underneath your playing. It's really good if you're doing rhythm sections and long chords. Turn the tone right up because it sounds like it's changing the notes to me. With the tone up, it sounds like it's really high octaves. With the tone sort of down more, it sounds like it's doing lower octaves, which is awesome. Bringing the tone back up gives you the higher octaves again. Such an amazing pedal. Now, it wouldn't be boss if I didn't give you a little bonus because every boss pedal comes with a bonus. The bonus on this one is some delay. So in this setting, the tone knob becomes how many repeats you've got. A 
level is still the level. So level is still the level. The tone knob gives you how many repeats. From infinite, by the sound of things. And once you've got your infinite repeats going. Then that messes with the time. So it's, yeah, it's going from pretty much comb filtering and a slapback. All the way out to sort of around a second there, isn't it? Which is awesome. Right, everyone sit tight. I'm just gonna plug in a uh, expression pedal. Right, I've got the expression pedal plugged in now. As you can see, it's just the Dunlop uh, Mini Expression Pedal Mini X. I've got it back on the uh, shimmer setting. And it lets you swell your reverb in, which is awesome. Control the level of your reverb while you're going. Which is really handy to have that expression uh, expression pedal functionality in there as well. So, anyway, there you go. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope, uh, if you're looking at buying one of these, I hope that was useful. Uh, that's full stereo going into HX Native in my uh, Pro Tools, no, what's it called? Logic, so uh, there you go. Baritone, just into this, into a Fender in uh, Logic, and that's it, that's my signal chain. So. Uh, Hopefully giving you a bit of a listen to all of those algorithms uh, helps you decide if you want to buy it or not. Let me know if you bought it. Let me know how you use yours. That's what I uh, really like is uh, leaving a comment's good for the algorithm, but it's also really handy for me to learn stuff so we can all learn together and off each other, which I uh, really appreciate. Everyone who gives me tips and advice in the comments section, I really appreciate it. So if you got this far, thank you for tuning in. Uh, give a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.